Ahoy there lads and lasses, sailors and land lovers. Welcome to another video about Sea of Thieves. I be your captain, Doodleman149, and welcome to another video on my company classes series. In this series, I'll be taking a look at all the ins and outs of each trading company. I'll be looking at what kind of loot to expect, how to acquire said loot, and how much coin you'll be bringing back to port. We be looking at the Merchant Alliance today yet again. For each of these classes, I'd be directing your attention to a teacher specialized in each company. For the fourth time, would you kindly welcome the Merry Merchant. Hello again, fellow merchants. Tis I, the Merry Merchant. I be returned to tell you all about the various resource crates you have access to on the seas. These crates be different from the trade goods of last time because these crates need to be filled with certain resources if they be worth a damn. Only have 49 planks for a wood crate, the merchant representative will tell you to shove it. There be some hard to get commendations tied to these, but it all comes down to your luck in finding commission goods. In today's lesson, I'll be telling you all about the different crates or resources and how much they be worth when they be commissioned or not. Onward to becoming better traders of the Merchant Alliance. Breaking things down to their basics, there be three types of resource crates with a few variations. We have fruit, cannonball, and wood crates. And on top of that, we have firebomb crates and ammo crates. There be ghostly goods in the form of cannibal crates of the damned and a storage crate of the damned. First, let's look at the regular crates. The fruit crate be the simplest to fill. You can fill it with all manner of fruits from the humble banana all the way up to the legendary pineapple. Why you'd want to waste pineapples in a fruit crate be beyond me, but do what you want with your food. Personally, if I could fill a crate with 50 bananas, that'd be ideal. You cannot fill these crates with fish or meat, so don't even try it. Meat doesn't keep well in a wooden crate. These fruit crates sell for 600 to 1100 gold unprompted, but if you received a commission for a crate, you can see between 1200 and 1900 coin. If you want 50 bananas for yourself, you can buy this crate from the merchants for 3500 gold. A raw deal if I had ever seen one. Cannibal crates could not be simpler. Fill it with the 50 cannibals and you be done. Only regular cannibals be stored in here, so keep them curse spheres out of here. Same with the fruit crate, a regular cannibal crate fetch it between 600 and 1100 gold, while a commission crate be worth between 1200 and 1900 gold. These crates also be bought full from the Merchant Alliance for a costly 5000 gold. Wood crates be another easy crate. 50 planks, fill it up. I be tired of repeat myself, so you know the prices. 600 to 1100 gold for regular and 1200 to 1900 per commission. These can also be bought filled to the brim from your local Merchant Alliance representative for 3500 gold. Firebomb crates be quite rare to find on the seas. They only appear on an Athena run of Thieves Haven, or they can be found by digging them up on a Fort of Fortune from a Skelly Captain map. They hold 20 firebombs, and apparently no merchant wants to buy them, so they never seem to be a commission item. They fetch between 1100 and 2000 gold apiece. Ammo crates be the most abundant on the seas. You can find them washed up on the shore throughout the seas, no doubt washed up from countless shipwrecks. These crates hold 50 ammo for any weapon and can be easily refilled from your ship ammo crate. Being so common, they only fetch between 280 and 520 gold. I feel I should mention the regular storage crates. They be best for looting up on an island or outpost, but they cannot be sold, unfortunately. However, if you feel like giving away your gold, first off, may I and always be outstretched for that, you can buy a storage crate from the Merchant Alliance for a preposterous 17,500 gold. Me poor heart, what a terrible price for an empty box. Now let's take a look at the ghostly resource crates you be getting from sinking Flameheart's ghost ships. First we have the Cannonball Crate of the Damned. This crate holds specific ghost cannonballs that be very rare. Now I know what you be thinking, merchant. How can I fill this crate for sale? Well, me fellow merchant, this crate be special in that you can sell it without it being full. It can be only found when defeating Flameheart's Burning Blade ship when that bastard decides to occupy an island. This crate fetches 900 to 1100 gold when sold. The storage crate of the dam can be found on the lesser ships of Flameheart's Armada. They come with the resources in them and they can be great for resupply, but other than that, they function just as a regular storage crate. However, the ghostly storage crate can actually be sold to the Merchant Alliance for 900 to 1100 gold as well. And with that, the lesson is finished. I end you back over to your very capable captain, so until next time, merchants, stay safe on the seas. I thank you very much for this lesson and all the resource crates, Merry Merchant. We always appreciate it. As the merchant said, these crates be useful for more than just coin. They'd be an excellent way to boost your reserves when sailing as well. These crates be a welcome boon to any regular income from merchant voyages at the end of your voyages when you'd be ready to turn in, but I wouldn't rely too heavily on these crates for steady coin or huge reputation boosts. 
Now be sure to keep an eye out for any future company classes regarding any of the trading companies. I'd like to thank you all for your time, and I hope you all learned something valuable today. I have been your Captain Doodleman149. I wish you all calm seas and favorable winds.